Hi everyone, this is Tony from Blue Butterfly Creations .blogspot.com and today I have a Halloween layout. I know I'm a little early but this is one of my favorite seasons, uh, fall, and I was very excited and couldn't wait to start uh, with a new cartridge that I bought. I bought the Happy Hauntings cartridge from Cricut. And this cartridge, I absolutely love it because it cuts out all these really nifty Halloween um, icons and pictures. And if you've seen some of my other videos and things I've posted on eBay, I have a card set that I did with the Scaredy Cat from this. So I love this cartridge. Today I'm using some of this pattern paper from the 2011 Die Cut with a View Halloween Slabs and some black flat pad, um, cardstock. I'm also using two sheets of pattern paper from uh, the Paper Loft and this is the Haunted Series Carving Pumpkins and what's great is this is a double sided paper but when you flip to the other side it's a companion image so you get an uh, image that spreads across the two pages. As you can see here it's this um, haunted tree with the witches and the carved pumpkins. So that's why I'm going to be using and I'm going to start by trimming the edge here off so that it's 12 inch paper. Line that up. Slice it off. Okay. Line it up and slice it off. ahead and cut up my pieces so that I knew I would have enough and um, they would fit. So what I did is all my picture layout mats are so that the stripes of the pattern paper are running vertically. <coughs> so I'm going to line up my two pages so that they sit flat and together so I can see the whole um, image. I have my pattern paper I have one that is four and a quarter by six and a quarter with the mat for underneath of black, which is four and a half by six and a half. I have one here that is cut to seven and a quarter by five and a quarter with the mat for underneath in black at seven and a half by five and a half. I have two pieces that are cut at two and a half by three and a half with the black for underneath at two and a quarter. No two and three quarters by three and three quarters. I have two of those. And I have a second one at the four and a quarter by six and a quarter with the four and a half by six and a half black. I also went ahead and pre-cut some of the images from the Happy Hauntings cartridge. I have the little cauldron here. I have a witch's hat. And I have the witch's shoe. And I'm going to be using those once I get this put together and spread out how I want. So I'm going to go ahead and start piecing these together with my adhesive. Again, I'm using Permatac for the Glue Glider Pro from Glue Arts.
So now I'm going to start playing with where they're going to be on my layout. <clears throat> I'm going to try and move this so it's all in the camera frame. So hopefully you can see a good amount of it. I'm going to put my mat for the 5x7 picture in the landscape uh, in portrait up towards the top here. Um, then I'm going to start spreading out some of my 4x6s over here. I'm going to try and move the camera back so you can see more of the pages. There we go. And then I have my little wallet size ones. I'm going to put one up here. I'm going to put one down here so I can kind of use it as a journaling box. And I don't really want to cover up the witches. I really like them. Now I'm going to start playing with some of my die cuts. And I can overlap some of these onto the photo mounts. So here's a witch's shoe. I think what I'm going to do is put that here. I'm going to move this over and place this over on this side of it. I have the witch's hat. that up on this one and I have the cauldron the cauldron here in between those two <clears throat> all right I like how that looks I might play with this cauldron a little more I might put it I want to really be showcased so I might just Flip this up here and put the cauldron down here. Yeah, I like that better. Alright, so I'm going to start tacking pieces down. so it overlaps the tree branches. Alright, now I'm going to use some quarter uh, eighth of an inch pop dots to pop up my die cuts that I made. So I'm going to add some to the back here. Sit this one again here, and I'm doing it so that when I go to put my picture in, it will slip underneath this die cut. So the die cut is not going to be sticking to the actual photo mount itself. There's one. And I have my cauldron over here. Stick that again down here by the witches. And I have my witches.
arm and then I'm going to put that up here again making it so that I can still get my picture underneath there you have a very simple two page Halloween themed layout and actually I have some stickers here from the 2011 Die Cut with a View um, series. And I think I'm going to add something. Why don't we go for this little spooky here? See how that looks. Right here. Ooh, spooky. so you can get a better view of my two page layout again using elements from the Happy Hauntings Cricut cartridge paper from the uh, paper loft and paper from die cuts with the view and I hope you enjoyed this episode of blue butterfly creations blogspot.com